Hello everyone, we are now going to discuss task 3 of March 2019's paper 3.1. This is a pretty straightforward and a simple task to do. Uh, we are going to use spreadsheet that would be Excel in our case. Let's go back. Okay, so we ha first of all, let's examine these files. So all the CSV files, I'll open them at once. I'll wait. okay so here we go we have all the files all right so in the pre spreadsheet in the pre spreadsheet place all these things in the header okay in the right side of the header so you're going to go to insert this is a piece file uh, yes it is so insert going to go to header and folder and you are going to go to okay so we are already in the header so we'll put on at the right side our name which is Wolverine because we are very cool and we have WL123 and we have 0001 and then you have an automated file name including the file path on the left in the footer so you click here go to the footer since I have to put it in the left part I come here and I click on file path so the file path would also include the file name as well so you click anywhere else and you can see the file path and the file name is displayed <coughs> If you want to go back to the normal view, you go to view and you click on normal. Alright, so off to part 16. In pre spreadsheet, insert 3 new rows before the row 1. Edit the file so it looks like this. And save the spreadsheet. Okay, so nowhere it asked us to save the spreadsheet. Okay, so please always be careful never to uh, overwrite the source files. Okay because it always wastes time to just you know re-extract them and uh, because I remember from my experience during my applied ICT exam back in 2014 in my A level so I did a couple of plunders like this by overwriting the source file so please don't do that ok so edit the file so I'm going to insert 3 rows here I select 3 rows and I press insert so I have added 3 rows so first row is going to be glorious ok so it's going all the way till notes so here we have notes let's merge and center them ok so this all, all of these will become one same here so you'll write glorious glorious gardens and below that native british trees and shrubs this has to be right line bold both of them first one is italicized the background is gray and the text is bigger the font color is white and text style is Arial okay I yeah, well it's not exactly Arial but uh, you can use any sans serif font in this case I guess and for the native tree we'll also increase the size I think this looks good and yes gallery is perfectly fitting with the question statement okay save this as spreadsheet with the file name piece followed by your candidate number center number okay so again this is a CSV format okay so com comma separated values so we have to save this as an excel workbook okay please don't forget this and we will put our credentials Wolverine, Wolverine and so on okay so we have we are in the new file now we go to the next page part 17 take a screenshot showing all the cells only cells A1 to M5 of the spreadsheet including the row columns headings make sure the uh, contents are fully visible I am sure you can do that on your own okay so just need to take a screenshot enter a function in cell D5 to look the type of the tree from the source file category.csv. Do not edit the source file, okay? It's clearly emboldened, so you are not supposed to uh, type in the file. So the source file is category. I open that file. Yes, so this is category. Uh, I have to use. I have to look up all these types from the actual file okay so I'm going to go to into D5 this is D5 so you have the codes here all of these 
and you have to look them up in the category file which is here okay so this one so what you are going to do is you are going to write a code here that would look up this code in this array okay and then return the type accordingly <coughs> this is pretty simple you are just going to use the trivial vlookup function for that so you are going to write vlookup you select the value you press comma then you go to the to the other file which would okay so it's not selecting this okay so it's not selecting okay, let me reopen the file because sometimes this fixes the problem I don't know why we are facing this problem so let's open the category file okay so is equal to we look up I look up this value in the yes perfect see now it's working now and I'll select these two rows okay only only the ones that we actually need I'll press comma again now this is the column index number so column index number means that you that in this you put the column number of the column from which the values will be returned so since we are going to return these values this is column one and this is clearly column two okay so uh, I messed up sorry so I'll just redo the array selection yes and then I'll put column number 2 because this is column 1 this is column 2 and so range lookup will put 0 0 means that you want to find the exact match okay not approximate match and as you can clearly see we have returned large tree and I'll just replicate this and just to confirm so SS is indeed small shop and L ST small tree etc okay medium shop large shop and all of these so this is correct now I'll save it and I'll go back like the uh, like the L code T code D code column hold codes for weather tree shop okay so this is a bit confusing so you have three columns okay here we have L code T code D code which hold the codes for categories of the environmental factors so I'll go to the other file I'll close this I'll open the tree codes now yes so it's saying that you have to write <coughs> functions in these cells that would look up the environmental factors from the tree codes file okay so again this is a simple we look up uh, question so you are going to write a function in i5 j5 this is i5 j5 and k5 okay so you are going to look up the code here from this and you're going to return the environmental factor so you, if we look at the t code that is w so w corresponds to wet soil so this should return wet soil okay and t code uh, means tolerates okay d code means dislikes one important thing what we're seeing here is that make sure all of these functions do not display any error message okay so they must return an empty value okay they must not show any error so to do that it's not difficult at all we'll just use an if okay so if something is true do this otherwise do that so i'll say if this if f5 is equal to nothing okay so it, if it is empty then just return empty because we don't want to show an error message otherwise if uh, it has some value then you're going to we look up it you're going to we look up f5 comma and then you're going to go to this file just like the, the values the array you are going to select the column number which is 2 in our case again okay and we want exact match so we put 0 so we write yes so, okay so it didn't turn anything because again all these values are empty this is k so k must return us alkaline soil so if I replicate this it indeed returns me alkaline soil and L for lime and it is returning me lime and so on and so forth so I'm just going to copy and paste this code here and here as well replicate this replicate this okay so acidic oil wet soil all of these are working absolutely all right so P for pollution this is correct replicate the functions that have to be displayed for all the trees we have done that hide the columns C F G H okay so we are going to hide C F 
G H so you press the control key and you select all of them right click and you hide them okay so we have hidden all of them save and print the spreadsheet showing the formula make sure only rows 1 to 29 are visible okay so we have to uh, let's okay since we don't need third row okay we have to make sure that all the rows till 29 are visible so we'll zoom out a bit like this okay so 29 are visible it is in landscape orientation so page layout we make it landscape and row and column headings are fully displayed the contents of all the cells are fully visible okay so one thing worth noticing here is that we have to show the formula so that is pretty simple you go to formulas and you click on show formula so anything that we have written uh, using the excel functions that would show like this okay i think it's showing us all the values i guess no it's not so you are only going to print 1 to 29 rows so let's select all these rows shift all the way till this and you press ctrl p oh sorry let's close this yes so it says that you have to print the spreadsheet okay so we are going to print it like this it's not exactly correct because uh, the functions are not looking properly okay again the, the the file names and the destinations are too long okay so but in your case in the actual exam they won't be they won't be having these this long file paths okay so but it would work and you have to say print only the selection and this would print like this okay done we go to the next part so create a spreadsheet extract from the data to show the sub trees uh, sorry the trees or shrubs that are okay so small large medium and evergreen this is clearly now a filtering question which is the you know the most easy thing in excel let's zoom in a bit all right so small tree large tree medium tree so this is going to be our category and the, it has to be evergreen so this is evergreen so let's um, go to the first column name control shift and right key so this selects all the column names at once given there is no uh, column break between them okay so there is no empty column you go to filter you click on filter so we want only the evergreens one we'll click yes and we the categories that we want are small tree medium shrub large shrub so we have small tree medium medium shrub and where is the large shrub is there a large shrub yes there is a large shrub but why cannot i see it i th okay so we weren't supposed to do this yes so first large shrub medium shrub and small tree and now we do the evergreen okay so made a small mistake there this is yes this looks very nice now so the extract must only display the common name likes tolerates so i'll the common name no latin name so i'll hide this the likes tolerate dislikes and evergreen so i'll hide this as well I'll hide the category as well, this as well. <coughs> okay, so let's select them all at once and hide them. Likes, tolerates, dislikes, evergreen, and notes. Okay, so all of them are showing nicely. Print the spreadsheet extract showing the values. Make sure that the print outputs on a single page. Header and footer contents of the specified cells are fully visible. So if I, if I go to the print preview, and I have to select active sheet so it prints everything not on a single page okay we have to make this smaller a bit this should be a4 okay so it, it fits perfectly now we have header footer and the content so all right so we already had the header and the footer here so if you forget how to put the head and footer from excel from the inside from insert option you can always click on page setup you go to header footer 
and you can create a custom header or footer here or edit any of these okay so quickly uh, before you take the printout and you are simply going to print your evidence document well this was it for the paper 3 one of 2019 please let me know in the comments if you have any questions so far uh, otherwise good luck for your exams thank you so much for watching the video